hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're tuning in for the first time i'm joyce lynn Binu, a content creator based in Douala, Cameroon. guys today we're having our lunch party so the weekend is about to begin so guys stay tuned and let's roll together So guys, let me explain better. At my job site, every three months, we are offered a lunch party by our boss after our end of month meeting. So this was one of them and I decided to show you guys a bit. There is usually no much formality. We just come together in our dining hall at lunch time pray, eat, drink, and chat, and that is it. <laughs> so that's what was going on here. I was so hungry, guys. Look at my plate of food. <laughs> oh, I had a busy day, and I got so hungry. So by this time, I really needed to eat something, and I was enjoying my meal. Yeah. Our lunch parties usually hold on Fridays, guys, at lunchtime. That's by 2 3 p.m. towards closing time so after this we just relax chat a bit and then we go home and the weekend begins yeah so i just thought i should take you guys along this one and show you guys a little bit of it yeah <laughs> And my plate of food everything cleared just my chicken and fish left <laughs> and then after this I'm going to get my fruits here we have them watermelon yeah so yummy hi guys welcome back people this is weekend today is Saturday and I'm about to go one of my daughters in the house PTA they have their PTA at school today so I'm going to attend today has been a very busy day but I needed to create a little bit of time to have some rest because I had a very busy week guys and my kids haven't been well so I was literally having sleepless nights almost every night for close two or three days yeah but thank God they are feeling much better now so I'm going for the PTA now and then from there I need to stop by the shop to get some things. We need to visit uh, one of our friends who put to birth here. Yeah. So I need to get some things so that we'll be able to go and see the baby later. So you guys should come along with me as usual. You guys look at clothes that are awaiting me tomorrow for ironing. Oh lord. <laughs> Hi. But I love ironing my kids clothes guys. So I don't mind. The proprietress of the school, Professor Alvin Boma, welcoming parents. Yeah. So we don't want that come from our mouth. We don't expect to see our children see us spoiled in front of them. When we do that, it psychologically affects the children. When they come to school, it will be difficult for them to learn because they are always thinking of what is happening at home. So at home, it is good to develop a cordial relation with our children. 
so that we are able to study what is determining them. When they have a problem, you know that this child has a problem, and we try to intervene to solve the child's problem. We should not allow the child's problem to be handled by one person. Maybe either when the child is moving toward the father, the father says, no, see the mother. Go and see her mama. I've given everything to my mother. Everything mama should take care of. Or the child should not go toward the mother. The mother says, no, it's only her father. Go and talk. See the money thing. Only see her father and talk with him. A time when the father cannot achieve, it becomes a problem. When you send the child to one of the father, the father sends it back to the other. It becomes a conflict at home. So when we are at home, we should avoid things that our children can see, negative things that our children can see so that they do not affect them in their learning process. Then, secondly, when we send children to school, we should provide the children with basic needs. Of course, we should buy a design book, we should buy pencils, we should provide the children with food. We know that in the difficult moment, don't allow the child come to school without eating. And uh, if possible, provide the child something to eat in school. Either the child can take food to school during break, the child can eat. Because when the child comes to school, others are eating, the child is not eating, or the child is bathing throughout this time, this time, this time, this time, water. It is psychologically affecting the child. The child will think that the parents have abandoned him or her. So they will provide basic needs to the child. They will help to boost the child to study. <laughs> You guys, this school is a very good school here in Bonaberry, located opposite Brigade de Recherche, Bonaberry. So they have, you see, this is a classroom. Their classrooms are large, yeah, and airy because there is a lot of heat in Douala. You can imagine your child being in a tight and choked up class. They have both, uh, they offer both commercial and grammar education yeah so if you want your child to study accounting or secretarial duties ict and all of that or even grammar yeah you can enroll them in this school you see their computer lab they have a computer lab they have a school bus yeah they are well equipped their surroundings are clean this is this is the secondary section yeah the college section of the school and you see that they are in a gate they are in a fence so your child you're sure that your child is secured and you see your their surroundings are clean they are cemented all around and they have good teachers you guys just watch me transform this cabbage that we bought from the market yesterday Ta -da! we have our salad here guys i did not want to show this process because salad is something that's very easy to make and it, i just thought that it was going to be boring to show you guys this so you just put all the things you clean all the things separate chop them and then you put them together in this beautiful form like this yeah the one in the plate is for hobby and the other for the rest of the family so we are just going to place it in the fridge to get fresh 
and uh, the next thing is okra guys i had to blend this okra and keep it in the freezer that is how i do to minimize time as a working mom in fact to manage time as a working mom so that during the week guys i spend less time in the kitchen to cook so i usually pre-prep my stuff like this and then i'm just going to put it in this bowl and place it in the freezer i already have my grounded egusi in the fridge and my fish already fixed and kept in the freezer this makes cooking easy for me during the week and here also i'm going to slice the rest of the cabbage as we can see and then clean it with warm water wash it with warm water make sure i remove all that smelly water you know cabbage has one one one's odor guys it has a kind of odor that if you don't wash it well you won't be able to eat it so we just use warm water to wash it but we don't make it too soft yeah so after washing it we play we put it in paper bags and then we keep it in the freezer so that during the week pam you just fry your things and you're gone you guys the sun that is hot in Douala these days is something else the time is 5 p.m. and look at the sun that is up here we were going for our cultural meeting guys at Mabanda so that's how the weekend ends after the meeting we are just going to come back home and then have a rest and get ready to start a new week on Monday if you have watched up to this point i just want to say thank you so much and i love you all and if you haven't yet subscribed please just go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that once any new video comes up you quickly get a notification and you watch see you in my next one bye bye